Okay, today we are doing what I call on repeat, and we start with the song. Abasiye ya ya o, aya ya o, abasiye ya ya o, aya ya nanando. Of course, it's in my native Ikebe that God is so good, you know, and there is no evil in Him. Uh, so on repeat is basically like you know, like your favorite song when you keep it on repeat, you know, it plays over and over again, you know, and you're enjoying every moment of it. You know, uh, there's something similar to this in scripture that sounds almost like a broken record. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. And the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. We see this a lot in Exodus, repeated over and over and over again. You know, just to remind the children of Israel, this is the great miracle that I did. You were in Egypt. The Egyptians, you know, were the military power at the time, but I was able to save you from the land of Egypt. And so for festivities, for commemoration, to teach to their children, they were supposed to repeat. This was repeated over and over again. And it continued also in Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 16. And the Lord, your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. And so I think this is part of what we learned from this, because we know that particularly the these scriptures were written for our admonition, so that we learned from it. You know, uh, And so for us, particularly when you see how God has come true for you in those particularly daunting situations, impossible areas, where God was able to come to, you need to keep thanking him. In fact, it needs to be on repeat. But every day you thank him, you thank him, you bless him, you praise him for seeing you through. And like we say in that African proverb, when the child thanks the parents, they are more likely, they are motivated to do more. So as we keep thanking God for those breakthroughs in our lives, he's going to do more so that we can have more breakthroughs, more blessings, more favor, and more testimonies.